Welcome to recovery yoga number one. We're going to start in a child pose. Bring your knees about as wide as the mat, a little wider than shoulder width. Bring your big toes together. Sit your butt back as far onto your heels as you can. And inevitably, when I start this, my feet start to cramp up. So just be aware of that. Sit your butt back and then extend your hands as far as you feel comfortable doing. You may end up having um, your elbows on the mat. It's up to you how that feels. You may end up having a block in front of you. So our goal is this, to inhale, lift up your torso, and exhale, push your butt back a little bit farther. Inhale up, exhale back a little bit farther. So we're always moving. We're not holding any poses. There's always gentle movement that we do with our breathing. Inhale up and exhale back. Okay. Do this for a little bit. 10 or so breaths, just keep moving. And what you can do is once you feel like you've got your butt back as far as it's gonna go, you can start working on flattening your back or reaching your arms out. But again, inhaling into your belly, exhaling, reaching and flattening your back. My, tor my uh, hips are actually coming up so that my back is getting flatter. We'll go from here, inhale, come up, and exhale, we're gonna come right forward all the way on this exhale into a cobra. Now, if a cobra is too much for you, you can always come down onto your elbows into a sphinx pose where your elbows are underneath your shoulders and your hands are in front of you. When we're here, the concept is the same. The inhale is to relax your head and neck the exhale is to lift and extend as if somebody was pulling on your ears. All right. we'll inhale, come back. Exhale, push back to your child pose. This is the last time we'll be in a child though. Inhale, push your hips back. Exhale, roll yourself forward into the cobra. Inhale, drop your head a little bit. Maybe lift up your hips. Exhale, lift up. So this gets a little uncomfortable on your, at least on my wrists and my arms. So we don't spend a lot of time in cobra but we will now curl your feet under and bring yourself into a downward dog. In downward dog, the inhale is to come up on your tiptoes and I'll turn sideways so you can see what's going on here. Come up on your tiptoes, exhale, push one heel down at a time. Inhale, tiptoes, exhale, other heel down. Inhale, come up on your tiptoes, push both heels down. Inhale, tiptoes, try to push yourself away from the floor with your hands so that your shoulders come down. The goal of a downward dog is to be an upside down V. I'm kind of an upside down coffee cup and that's okay. Good, but now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna drop back down, put my knees down on the mat, and I'm not trying to do extra work. I am just trying now to come back into a cobra. And exhale and drop my hips and lift. Good. Let's come on to our backs and I am going to start sideways so you can see 
what I look like there, and then I'm going to come forward. Because all we're going to do is a windshield wiper pose. Bring your feet out wide on the mat. Your knees are up. Your inhale is going to have the knees up. The exhale is dropping them over to the right side. When that happens, your left knee comes in to your right ankle. Your shoulder blades stay on the mat. Inhale up, exhale over, and now your right knee comes to your left ankle. All right, so if I'm coming sideways, feet are wide, inhale, and the exhale, dropping my knees one way. Notice my hands are still on the mat. My shoulder blades are on the mat. So these are windshield wipers. I wonder what they called these back in the day when there were not cars to have windshield wipers on. That is your question of the day. Just keep flipping your knees back and forth. If you want to add just a little bit of work to this, you can bring your knees up and your feet up and just roll your knees back over. This becomes a little bit of core work. So you may not want to do this, but it also may be a nice little stretch at the end. But if you're just doing this for an easy recovery, just drop your knees over. The last pose is called cat pulling its tail. And I am gonna start my head forward so you can see at least, this is, it's a really awkward pose to, for me to know how to cue. But you're gonna start with your head in your arm like this. So I'm on my right side and I'm taking my right knee and bringing it down so that I'm almost rolling forward. All right, that's the key, is almost rolling forward. Then I'm gonna bring my right, my top of my right quad is on the mat and I'm bringing my foot up. You may need a strap for this, but you may not. And I'm, because if I can grab a hold of my toe, most of you can. Then you're just gonna grab your toes and this is the tail part of the cat. The inhale is relaxing, the exhale is gently pulling, and you'll feel this in your quads and in your hip flexors, and that's the point. Inhale and exhale, and then you might be able to extend your knee a little bit more, get a little bit more of a stretch. But remember, the key again is to move with your breathing. We're not trying to hold any stretches. We're moving with your breathing, hopefully into your belly, hopefully through your nose. All right, now I'm gonna go onto the other side and show that to you when I'm on my side. So now I'm on my left side, my head is here. I'm gonna bring my right knee, my top knee over, kind of rolling forward a little bit so my hips are almost pointing down. And then I'm taking my left leg bringing it up, grabbing a hold of my toes. Good. Doing this, you know, there's always going to be that um, element of learning the movements so that you understand how they should be feeling. But if you can do this two, three times a week after your long workouts, after your intense workouts, on your easy days, on your recovery days, this is great active recovery. Simply because you are trying to move with your breathing, stimulating your vagus nerve, trying to simply relax. Good. All right, we'll come into a seated position just to end in a yoga style. If you come here, just inhale and scoop up good energy. Bring your hands together. Exhale, bring the energy into yourself. And namaste. All right, that is recovery class number one. Stay tuned for the rest of the recovery series. Thank you for joining us.